Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Bored and Brilliant by Manoush Zomorodi. Bored and Brilliant by Manoush Zomorodi. This book is nonfiction and it's a really interesting concept. In it, she posits that by being constantly distracted by things like our smartphones, the computers, TV, all of the distractions that we have around us in modern day, we are losing our brilliance. We're losing our room to just let our mind wander, imagine things, become creative, and have original thoughts. Our thoughts are constantly being um, given to us by Facebook, Twitter, whatever's on the smartphone, all the notifications that pop up. We're constantly overstimulated and under creative, under thoughtful, under intelligent, and probably at least a couple of those aren't even words, which just goes to prove my point even more. So the Bored and Brilliant Challenge started on um, Manusha Zomorodi's podcast called Note to Self. She put out a series of challenges, I'll link to it in the description, in which you can challenge yourself to let yourself be bored, let your mind wander, and just see where it will go. It includes things like um, putting away your phone during your commute to and from work. It includes putting away your phone or your camera at events so that you are present in the event and not hiding behind the screen and taking 500 pictures that you probably won't even look back on later. Maybe you will. It includes challenges such as um, deleting that favorite app of yours. You know the one, the one that you look at 10 times a day, <coughs> Twitter. <laughs> so the challenges are um, deceptively simple sounding, but really difficult to pull off in real life. Um, here are a few examples of me trying and failing to do the challenges. Here's a dark video of me failing to not use electronics on my way to work. Whoops. Don't worry, I'm at a stoplight. This is me taking a walk and failing at not listening to audiobooks and stuff on my phone while I'm walking. Here's me failing at not taking pictures at an event. But to be fair, I was the hired wedding photographer for the event, so special dispensation? Yeah. So, I don't think I'm specifically failing a certain challenge or anything, but I'm at lunch. And instead of just sitting here and enjoying myself and my food, I am both looking at the iPad and, let me show you this, sketching. All right, so you can see how well I didn't do with those challenges, but I'm still trying to challenge myself daily with it. Um, when I reach for the phone, to which I thoroughly believe is addictive, and I am addicted, I try, sometimes not successfully, to just not turn it on, because sometimes I notice I'm turning it on just to look at it. Not even for any special purpose, um, just because it's not on. I will say that my boys hate the bored and brilliant challenge because now whenever my youngest says, I'm bored, I say, that's wonderful. It's an opportunity for you to grow into a brilliant young man. I'm bored. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> there is one part that made me feel a little bit kind of um, chagrined, and that's her reporting on the study about ebooks versus audiobooks versus paper books. Um, the study found that people are able to do deeper reading and more comprehension with the paper books. So, people who are book purists will rejoice at that news. Those of us who, met, who enjoy the full mix of experiences with reading and listening and consuming books, um, I find I found it a little disheartening and a little bit confusing. I'm choosing to stick with the theory of taking in books however you'll take them. However you will come to books, come to it that way. If it's audiobooks, that's great. If it's ebooks, wonderful. If it's the tactile paper books, that's great too. If it's braille, if it's anything, just take it how you'll take it. All right, so that's all I got. Time for me to go get bored and brilliant. <laughs> it's a really good book. It's a really good idea. And I think it there's definitely wisdom to that and letting yourself be bored, letting your mind take flight and go to new heights. Spread your wings and fly by being bored. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Have a great boring week. See ya.